I've always been adamant that uh, gay and lesbian uh, Americans should be treated fairly and equally. Today's video talks about one of the most controversial issues in America and the world, gender transition, especially gender transition in children. Although this is an important and controversial issue, it is supported by many politicians in the White House, typically current President Joe Biden and former President Barack Obama. Let's analyze this issue with Jonathan Kahn. Uh, at a certain point, I've just concluded that, um, for me personally, it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. You know, it's interesting, some of this is also generational. You know, Malia and Sasha, they've got friends whose parents are same-sex couples. You know, there have been times where Michelle and I have been sitting around the dinner table and we've been talking and, uh, about their friends and their parents, and Malia and Sasha, would, it wouldn't dawn on them that somehow their friends' parents would be treated differently. It doesn't make sense to them. And, and frankly, uh, that's the kind of thing that prompts uh, a change of perspective. In The Return of the Gods, the latest book I've written, I reveal the ancient mystery that is behind everything that's happening right now, the transformation of America and the world, what's happening to our culture, our children, what's happening all around and why it's happening. You're, you're going to see it in a new light. And the ancient principalities, that what their agenda is and where it's heading and what the future holds and how to get ready, how to be prepared, what you need to know to prevail. Well, I speak of the ancient principality in the book known as the Enchantress, known in the Bible as Ashtorah, known in, the, in Babylon as Ishtar. The ancient Mesopotamian inscriptions I've cited, I put in the book where she says, I'm a woman, but I'm a man. In her hymns of praise, she turns a man into a woman. She turns women into men. In other words, she transitioned men into women and women into men. And in some cases, more literally, she had some of her priests surgically altered, surgically transitioned. So the Enchantress is back. She's gaining possession of our culture. We hear about men transforming into women, women transforming into men, children being transformed from boys to girls, from girls to boys. This is the work of the goddess, but it speaks of something even greater for with this spirit comes the power to transform an entity that opposes it. A larger transition is underway and change affects each of us. The transition from one sex to another is a sign of metamorphosis. The transformation of America, the transformation of civilization turned America into a pagan country, even into an anti-Christian country. I'm curious, you know, the president has said that his views on gay marriage, on same-sex marriage, have evolved, but he's opposed to it. You're opposed to it. Have your views evolved? Look, uh, I just think uh, that uh, the good news is that as more and more Americans be come to understand what this is all about is a simple proposition. Who do you love? Who do you love? And will you be loyal to the person you love? And that's what people are finding out is what, what all marriages at their root are about. Whether they're marriages of lesbians or gay men or heterosexuals. Is that what you believe now? That's you, what I believe. And you're comfortable with same-sex marriage now? I, I Look, I am Vice President of the United States of America. Um, the President sets the policy. I am absolutely comfortable with the fact that men marrying men, women marrying women, and heterosexual men and women marrying men are entitled to the same exact rights, all the civil rights, all the civil liberties. And quite frankly, I don't see much of a distinction uh, beyond that. When the Enchantress transitioned a man to a woman, the transitioned person now had transition desires or values. What the person once found attractive they no longer did. And what they once rejected, they now were drawn to. So the Enchantress, the transitioning principality, is changing America, causing it to accept what it once rejected and reject what it once accepted, to condemn what it had once celebrated, like faith, and to celebrate it, what it once had condemned, like sin. While we speak of the transitioning of people, of children, as we must, we could be missing the transitioning that's going on all around us and that which that transitioning is part of. In an age of transitioning, we of all people have to hold strong to what never changes, what is unchanging.
That is the only rock, the only anchor ever, but especially now, to become steadfast, immovable, which you can only do by the power of God. The Transgender Bill of Rights, if passed, would amend the Civil Rights Act to prohibit discrimination on the basis of sex, enforce prohibitions on discrimination in health care on the basis of gender identity, and amend federal education laws to ensure that trans students are protected from discrimination. This bill also specifically allows students to join sports teams that match their gender identity and protects access to gender-affirming care for minors and adults which would subsequently overturn various bans passed at a state level by conservative legislatures across the country. It also federally bans conversion therapy practices and forced surgery on intersex children as well as invests in community services to prevent violence against trans and non-binary people and requires the Attorney General to designate a liaison within the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice dedicated to advising and overseeing enforcement of the civil rights of transgender people. Most states allow updating gender identity on birth certificates and driver's licenses, although some require proof of gender-affirming surgery or prohibit updating these fields altogether. Some states legally recognize non-binary citizens and offer an X marker on identification documents. Gender self-identification, including an X option, is permitted for passports. Laws concerning name changes in U.S. Jurisdictions are also a complex mix of federal and state rules. The Supreme Court's decision in Obergefell v. Hodges established that equal protection requires all jurisdictions to recognize same-sex marriages, giving transgender people the right to marry regardless of whether their partners are legally considered to be same-sex or opposite sex. The Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act of 2009 added crimes motivated by a victim's actual or perceived gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability to the federal definition of a hate crime. However, only some states and territories include gender identity in their hate crime laws. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel to update our best videos.